I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it, Glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. Oh, there's rides? <laughs> what are you looking at? Chelome City floats on the Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. Leading scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. Sounds like Kesha auto tune. An exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Um, sure. Sure, thanks. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. They're still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. Wow, what a beautiful day. There's a pig. What's up with your Vovas box on tray? They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? Let me lie there all day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! Oh, you did it! Oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. Damn, this place is crazy, man. Oh, shit. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. Okay. Assume we're in Russia. You've been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions. For once. You dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Comrades. Icarus platform residents. Shut up. It's just a few days until the new collective comes on. That looks sharp. Get your thought device today. Get connected straight away. Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. You like a thought device? It's high time you got one. No nah, thanks, I'm just browsing. Huh. Wonder what it does. No thanks. I'm all set. Oh, what a rendition. Thank you. 
All right, enough dancing. Let's go. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. Yikes. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean or get a doctorate in nuclear physics or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can. Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial <laughs> neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. Should be swimming. You have just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? No one expects... Never mind. Left alt. Okay. Demon, be gone. Oh. <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would ya? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Okay. Cool. What's this guy? Got a nice fat belly. Let me in. Oh, F. Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Repent, sinners! <laughs> no. I am Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility 38. A warm welcome to your future. Today, we 
stand on the brink of the greatest event in the history of man. Report to the lobby of that high in our Just one small step away from an amazing evolutionary feature that will profoundly change the world as we know it. No, I'm not exaggerating. Just look. So glad to and see you're taking it easy, Comrade Major. The car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. Thanks it's been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, naturally. Am I German? I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. Science! On behalf of all at facility 3826, I present to you the device of the future, the neural connector thought. It will allow <laughs> human but. beings to be at the center of Collector 2.0, a network for all mankind together. Uniting the intellects of all individuals into a powerful mind free of all boundaries. Thanks to the Thought Neural Connector, you will control robots with your mind. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed. Accessing all human knowledge and, of course, combining it with your own individual discoveries. You will no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell Damn. you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What Thanks, would I ladies. Ever do without you. Sechenov here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Let's go. All right, so USSR. Obviously stayed together. Alternate future, got it. There's robots everywhere. I wonder what year it is. Cars look old. Secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Thanks, Nipplebot. 
Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0. Yeah, I just came from there. Get city. it. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic Politics workers from that. the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozios. How about some music? That's more like it. So we get in the car and something just flies the car? I guess it counts as a flying car. Good music. I see you finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Fjord. What did you just say? <laughs> I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like... Flying pigs. Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. Facility 3826's audio Damn. guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plan such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. 
We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire BDNH, as well as the friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, mm. and are now entering the grounds of the Pavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the collective 1.0 neural network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Major, the Trove is initiating combat maneuvers. What? What? For real? Watch out! What am I supposed to do about your safety? What the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt. What the fuck? Has come to a complete stop. You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory of the Babylon facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov Complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, shit. What the hell are you I doing, slipped. lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Fuck off, bitch. Oh shit. Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Dropa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to Son of a bitch, not again. Oh, help me, comrade major. I'm falling. <laughs> shit. Oh my god. Attention, this is an emergency communication. It's killing me. Axe is a good start. 
Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you the all right, fuck? my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Victor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Hi, chicken. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Victor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Session of out. Okay. Is there like special stuff to find? Probably not yet. Oh shit, what? Uh. Bitch. Okay, alright. We're safe. We're good. Fucking mustachioed robots. Angie about something. What is this shit? That's it looks weird. It's freaking me out. Holy Cow, watch out! Shit. Oh my god. Hey, glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Get me out of here! Whoa! Hey, you! I'm coming! You alive in there? Oh, is he down the shithole? Shit! Uh, get away from me! Oh, damn. Oh, go fuck yourself! Get the fuck off me! <laughs> Babushka. What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, no ma'am. No sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. <laughs> Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Uh. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla. Son of a bitch. We've got 30 seconds. Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy. Royally fucked. Oh shit. No good. Get over here, beefcake. Now, no, 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 now. Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. Holy shit. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Granny, don't fuck around. you get that thing? No Give it to way. Him. You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. Oh shit. Holy shit. Oh. 
fuck is that? Granny! Goddamn clusterfuck. Yeah, I'd say so. That's pretty cool. Just suck up everything. Fuck you! Fucking robot bitch. What did it say? I could. What? gate over there Okay This is an emergency log entry. I'm a programmer named Katerina Vishnevskaya. There's been an incident. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Ah! She Just turn the handle and open the door. Oh shit. Thanks for the gun, I guess. Oh, I got one bullet. They can hear you. Fuck me. Oh fuck. And the machines rose. Jesus Christ. The ashes. May I give you some advice? I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are especially dangerous. I had this rate, I won't last long. That first pot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a new. Yep, 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 yep. Got it. A resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. It wouldn't hurt to collect <laughs> other resources you find along. Is this Neuromed? Okay. Away, Major. Cool. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Abalakov backpack? For storing items and equipment, it utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like amazing sci-fi times or something. I'm just getting all kinds of stuff. Cool to make a sandwich like this. All right, so I got some more shotgun shells. How many? Three. Great. Stick with the axe for now. A nice ceiling fan. What's all this shit? Different office. Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Oh, I didn't know I had to tap it. Man, I dodged that. That was bullshit. Fucking robot bitch. I think I just cut a real guy in half. It's unfortunate. Sorry. Sorry, real guy.
All right, I think we got hey, it all. Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. Whatever. Hey, how this Petrov guy managed to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. What kind of rotation am I looking for? I see. There we go. Yeah, that too. Can I, like, shoot it? Well, I'm sure we'll figure that out at some point. Bitch. Telling me a handful of traders somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union. Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. Chess club? I got some mail? That's cool. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time, during which many more people will die and information about the incident will make shit. it way outside the facility. Dude. Robots are fucking tough. I healed you up pretty good. Damn it, why is everything locked here? The emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked. Something's wrong. Oh shit! What the fuck? <laughs> 